We now have the screen of the Black Panther. The man drank a mysterious potion. He temporarily seals the Panther's power within him. He will accept the other tribe's challenge for the throne as an ordinary man. The usual rules apply, either admit defeat or die in battle. The Mwapagu tribe, hidden in the snowy mountains, came forward. He believed that anyone who couldn't save his father's life was unworthy of the throne. T. Chalo accepted his challenge. The two men then faced off in a duel of the Mai. At first, Mwapagu's stick fighting style took T. Chalo down. After familiarizing himself with his opponent's fighting style, T. Chalo was not to be outdone. <laughs> T. Chalo was accidentally stabbed in the shoulder by Mwabagu. T. Chalo pulls down his spear, kicks Mwabagu over, and then strangles him. Mwabagu, unable to fight back, finally concedes defeat, and T. Chalo succeeds to the throne. Wakanda is Marvel's richest nation, with the world's most advanced technology, but the most primitive life. Millions of years ago, a vibranium meteorite landed in Wakanda on the African continent, which not only heals humans, but can also be used as a raw material for technological development. Several tribes have been at war for years, until the panther goddess appeared, and the warrior gained the power of the panther through a new type of herb. He unified all the tribes of Wakanda. With the help of Jin Jin, Wakanda's technology has advanced rapidly. They kept a low profile so as not to draw attention from outsiders. They've even built an invisible wall, so you can't even see it until you walk in. Not long ago, the old king of Wakanda died in an accidental explosion. Prince T. Chalo was a natural candidate for the throne. And true to his name, he succeeded to the throne. An emergency meeting of the tribes was called, and it turned out to be the man who had his arm cut off by Ultron. He's holding all the vibranium he stole from Wakanda. Claw breaks into the museum with his men, taking a hammer made of vibranium and trading it in South Korea. Upon learning the news, T. Chala decides to take matters into his own hands and bring Claw back to Wakanda. Black Panther arrives at his sister's lab. Seeing her brother's slippers, she straight away pulls out her newly designed combat boots, which are not only fully automated, but also very lightweight. And Black Panther's suit is even more impressive. The collar not only holds the entire armor, making it easy to wear, but it also uses nanotechnology to release the absorb energy again. The trio quickly traveled to South Korea, disguised themselves, and entered the trading location. It was here that T. Chalo met Agent Ross. The man Claw is dealing with his Ross. Just as Claw pulls out the vibranium, the identity of the VIP black girl is revealed, and a fight breaks out between Claw's men and Claw's men. When he realized something was wrong, Claw shot Ross. The scene was chaotic for a while. However, Claw and his men were no match for the three of them. He was quickly cornered by T. Chala. The broken arm was made of vibranium, and the panther was blown away by a single shot, and then fled in his car. With his sister at the controls, the panther follows. A traffic jam occurs and panther shifts gears. Facing enemy fire, Black Panther took all the bullets. Ugh. Panther then jumps on the hood and releases his energy. Crow sticks out the window and blows the car to smithereens. Black Panther jumped up and jumped straight onto the car, removing the tires with one hand. The car then crashes into a pillar and is flipped to the ground. Claw tried to attack Black Panther with his robot arm, but the energy was absorbed by the suit. Black Panther ripped off his robot arm. In order to prevent the incident from spreading, they had to take him to an agent base for interrogation. However, Claw told Ross that the vibranium he stole came from Wakanda, a country richer than Iron Man. They use vibranium for everything from weapons to clothing, but centuries of digging have yielded only the bearer's hints. Wakanda holds a whole mountain of vibranium. Half convinced, Ross tried to find out from T. Chala. Just then, Claw's accomplice blows up the wall, shoots at the crowd, and drops the bomb. The panther jumped right at them. By the time it catches up with them, they're long gone. T. Chala then sees the royal ring under the mask. Ross, trying to protect Black Panther's girlfriend, was shot in the spine and fell to the ground. In critical condition, T. Chala then puts in a special pill to keep Ross alive. They take Ross back to Wakanda for treatment. Within an hour, Ross woke up on the gold table. He kept touching his wounds, which were like magic, in disbelief of what was happening to him. Panther finds the family elders and asks about the ring. It turns out his uncle had the same ring as his father. Back then, his uncle colluded with Claw to sell Vibranium to provide security for the disadvantaged around the world. The old king didn't approve of his brother's idea. The uncle tried to resist and was killed by the king himself. 
the uncle son was sent into exile. On the other hand, Eric asks Claw to take him to Wakanda, but Cole refuses. Next thing you know, he shoots the pilot. Claw immediately takes Eric's girlfriend hostage. He kills her instead. When he sees the other guy getting away, Eric shoots Crow and takes his body as a gift to Wakanda. Then he meets with the Black Panther, and right off the bat, he wants to challenge for the throne. Then he pulls out the ring and identifies himself. Eric wants to take back what he's lost. The battle between the two men begins quickly. At first, T'Challa has the upper hand. After the round, he was cut by his opponent. Eric's attack picks up speed, and soon T'Challa is wounded again. He seizes the opportunity to stab T'Challa in the stomach, knocking T'Challa to the ground. Eric was about to kill the panther, but was stopped by an elder on the sidelines. In the next moment, Eric stabs the elder to death, then lifts T'Challa off a cliff. Eric became the king of Wakanda. The first thing he did was burn all the new herbs. His lurking girlfriend picks one and escapes with the queen and her sister. Ross follows them out. They arrive at the Mwabagu tribe, who live in the snowy mountains. In order to get Mwabagu's help, the girlfriend offers her only heart-shaped herb. Instead of accepting it, Mwabagu leads them to a tent. Seeing T'Challa's life hang in the balance, the queen quickly grinds the herbs into a potion and gives it to T'Challa to drink, and then buries him. T'Challa meets with the late kings and expresses his displeasure at his father's banishment of Eric and swears to him that he will take back the throne. At that moment, T'Challa miraculously awakens. After several days in a coma, when he regained his strength, his sister gave him the cloak she had hidden in advance. He was grateful to Mwabagu for saving his life. Meanwhile, Eric ordered his men to dig up the vibranium and use airplanes to transport it to the armed forces across the country. But the first plane is shot down and crashes on the ground just as it takes off. Just as the crowd is wondering, Black Panther walks out. The guards, the Black Sisters, are naturally on Panther's side and soon fight with Eric. The border tribe rushed towards Panther and formed a human defense shield. But T'Challa jumped over it with ease. T'Challa then picks up his spear and turns to stab the plane. The two tribes also fight. The three take advantage of the chaos to infiltrate the lab. With the sister and girlfriend donning battle suits and charging out, Ross remotely controls the fighters and shoots down the planes transporting the gold. The soldiers managed to trap Eric, but were sent flying by his opponent. The girlfriend was the first to rush forward. However, she was cut and thrown away by Eric. The sister managed to control him with a weapon she invented. Eric immediately picked up a sword and destroyed his sister's weapon. Seeing the danger approaching his sister, Black Panther releases his energy and shakes everyone away, then pounces on Eric. The two of them fell together. They are evenly matched in strength. While the train is running, the supersonic wave reveals a hole in the suit. Eric picks up his dagger and attacks. After a few rounds, he is no match for Panther. The dagger slowly approaches Eric. Soon Eric is forced to the edge of the track. Luckily, Black Panther was able to neutralize the situation. The dagger was thrown into the air. In the nick of time, Panther managed to get the dagger and stab Eric in the chest. On the other side, Mopargo and his men are coming to support him. The tide of the battlefield is turned and the border tribe is defeated. Black Panther takes back his throne. He decides not to hide Wakanda anymore and sets up an external meeting room to share Wakanda's vibranium with the world and advanced technology.